Good afternoon, YouTube and Facebook users. My name is George Torres, Acid Jack. With the summer ending, it's time for uh, one of our favorite holidays, Christmas. But we're really, it's time for one of my favorite holidays, Halloween. With October approaching, uh, no idea of what to be for uh, this Halloween, I have decided to maybe try doing a couple of different costumes and stuff like that. Uh, so today I'd like to show you one. Uh, there's a very famous guy, I don't know if you've heard of him, Lon Chaney, Man of a Thousand Faces, an old movie star. He's had a whole bunch of different roles, but one that you may know best is... Rosie O'Donnell. I mean, the Phantom of the Opera. No? Well, let's just call it Rosie O'Donnell, anyways, because it's funny. Now to do your phantom um, rosy uh, makeup, you're gonna need a couple of things. First, you're gonna want to shave your face because the phantom doesn't have that much facial hair. Uh, but I'm trying to be a lumberjack, so f that. You're also gonna need creepy skin to build the base of the nose, so you have like a light, nice pig-like protrusion. Uh, some white makeup, uh, four-pack, you know, regular makeup. If you want to do that for the eyes, you could use black, but. Preferably, you'd be using something like this. It's more of a, I guess, uh, earthy tone. It's not monochrome. Now I'm gonna start off by applying like, you know, like a base like this. You wanna, you wanna put a little bit, but not too much, because you don't want to be completely white like a mime. You wanna have more of a ghastly feature, more of a ghastly skin tone. So what you're gonna wanna do is just sort of put like a line around your face and sort of smooth what you have in to it. It's probably going to be really light at first, but you could just, you know, keep rubbing it in. The more you rub it in, the more you're likely to get acne, but the more you're also uh, able to spread it around and lighten it. So if you have too much, you could always, it's just water-based, so you could just wash it off and spread what you have on your face around a little bit more. All right, now the next thing you're going to want to use to build up the base of your nose, so it looks more, uh, I guess, um, like a pig nose, like sort of stuck. I can't really do it to mine because mine isn't real. Uh, creepy skin. It's really good stuff. I'll show you how this looks in one second. In essence, creepy skin is nothing more than paraffin wax and cotton. It's what they use on dead people. So when you go see your grandmother and her eyes don't look sunken in and her lips are closed and stuff like that. Well, that's wiring beneath the wire that draws shut. But, you know, any sort of, you know, uh, sunkenness is filled in with this stuff. Really good. I've been messing around with this makeup for a couple of minutes now. And I realized something. My creepy skin mixed with latex from last year, so it's not really holding, it's not really mixing, and it looked kind of retarded. It's because I can't do that Phantom of the Opera, but at least I still look like Rosie O'Donnell. <sighs> ah! 